Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wolke, and I'm back with another Dragon Ball Fusion World video. As I continue to keep playing the game, so I'm going to make, keep making videos of me playing the game. So, today I wanted to jump in and play with some Ginyu. Uh, what's Ginyu? Well, let me show you the Ginyu deck that I have. Um, Ginyu is focused on basically playing a buttload of dudes. I can do a check, check deck, yeah. Playing a buttload of dudes and then just winning before your opponent can catch up to you and then hope to god that they can never catch up to you uh ginyu as a lead has an ability which i cannot believe i can't check it from in here but i guess i can check it from in here that's silly um first of all he's different from a lot of the other leaders when you transform him you um draw a card and then you get to choose a life uh four or less and then switch it to when your life is at four or less switch up to one of your energy to active so you have to be very careful when you use it that all your energy isn't already active. And then this guy here, um, using three energy, discard two cards from your hand, and then choose all your battle cards with Ginyu Force in their special trait and switch them to active mode. Very good, very good. Uh, this is the current deck the way I've got it built. If I were to make changes, I would definitely add another Raikoum, because Raikoum is extremely important to the deck. I just, uh, for some reason, was not able to get another Raikoum. <laughs> He's also rare. I was able to get so many other rares, but not Raycoom for whatever reason. Um, the other key part of it is Ginyu. There's plenty of Ginyus in the deck, uh, but this Ginyu is probably the most important one because you have three or more battle cards with Frieza's army. Um, you get to switch two of your uh, energies back to active, and then you can't play any more Ginyu for the turn. That also locks you out of this Ginyu. And Frog Ginyu. Frog Ginyu is a draw one, and he's also a one cost Ginyu Force member. Uh, this Ginyu is also a searcher for other Ginyu Force uh, related cards. I have Goldos in here. Uh, I have Goldo. I have Jace. I think I have. I had more Jaces. I would probably run more Jace. But annoyingly, Jace is an uncommon, and not just a common, so he's actually kind of hard to find. So I'm making do with what I got. I run a three Nyes. Uh, over, um, over Zarbon, but honestly, I can probably go this one. The good thing here is that Nyze is better because he can give plus 1,000 when it's in the hand, but Zarbon actually has Frieza's Army. He doesn't have Frieza's Army. He has Cooler's Armored Squadron, which is an important distinction for specifically Ginyu's effect. Other than that, four birders, two of these Frieza's. I would probably run another if I, but I would have to buy the Frieza Structure deck again, and I'm kind of waiting to see if I can ever get it in actuality. Uh, I'm running a cooler and I'm running one of these Frieza's. Very rarely does it ever get to the point in the game where I would ever play them, because usually I just go better with the Ginyu dudes, but if I'm ever in a dire situation, they could come in clutch sometimes. But in general, I'd probably replace them for um, Raikoum if I could. Uh, same thing goes for this Frieza, actually. But no, funny enough, these Frieza's actually are here because there's one... So this deck is very good against going against green. It's uh, pretty good to going against blue. It absolutely loses to um, Frost. <laughs> Just cannot beat Frost. If your opponent is playing Frost, you may as well throw up the retire because you lose. Um, let me see if I can find him. Uh, there he is. Frost is a floodgate. Your opponent's battle cards with 2,000 power or less can't attack. That's literally every single Ginyu Force card. <laughs> they have exactly 2,000. <laughs> So that's the reason why these two are in the deck, these are in the deck, and here is if you ever get in a situation where Frost is there, you can kind of take them out. I was running the Frieza extra card that did um, this to take care of the, the Frost, but for the most part, most people don't actually st like stop using their Frost from what I found. Uh, but he could probably, I could probably side at least one of them in there. The only problem, the reason I don't like using Golding Death Beam is because it's absolutely useless in against... <laughs> green and most people are just playing green so i just take it the fact that i'll just lose to red if i ever run into it uh and they're specifically running uh frost and yeah these are the two extras one is now you see them which is a draw two if you have two ginyu force members on the field and the bonds of the ginyu force which is just a straight up get a thousand power then five thousand for each ginyu force member on the field which can come in handy, but it's not like bake or break. For the most part, I usually get around 2,000. But if it, if you're in a bad situation, this is only 1,000. <laughs> and at that point, you may as well just be using uh, something like uh, Death Ball, which can be used during uh, the opponent's turn. 
uh, Supernova if you want something that's more attuned to being used on your turn to finish off the game. And that's the deck. So let's save and go see what I can run against into. That's the deck. Okay. Uh, it's going to be great because I'm going to give all that preamble and then I'm just going to lose my very first game. <laughs> Like I said, it's not a fully built Ginyu Force deck. It is a doing its best. Damn, this guy's flaming. Let's see what he's running. Broly? <gasps> he's running Goku. I don't think I can win this. Is it Super Saiyan Goku? I have a chance if it's Super Saiyan Blue Goku, but if it's Super Saiyan... Okay. I have a chance. First player... Keep. Uh, Frog Ginyu can be really good, but only if your opponent has no idea what Frog Ginyu does. If your opponent is smart, they will target your Frog Ginyu and kill Frog Ginyu. So, let's see what he is. But he is a very nice card to play on turn one. Uh, okay, let's see. Yep. Hail Frog Ginyu. And I will draw one card. Thank you. And there you go, your turn. Again, if he's smart, he should know automatically to target this frog in you. And if he does, then we might be in for a very bad time. <laughs> It'd be... we'll see. I could also keep an eye on here, see what he's got. Android 17. Alright, rip frog in you. He's dead. I don't want to defend him too much this early on. I don't really have much to defend him with. So if he wants to do it, that's fine. Also, would prefer him to actually hit me. That'd be just as good. Yeah, that's fine. I've already got my advantage from him. It's fine for me now. Uh, let's see. Would be really good here would be a Raccoon. Can I get a Raccoon? No. Okay. I'll go here. I will do... Do I want to do an attack right now? You go here. Usually I just go straight for face, but I can also just stack him, see if he wants to keep this thing alive. So yeah, the main thing here about Ginyu, you want to try and use him with Raccoon, because it does lower, he does want to save him. <laughs> okay. There we go, y'all. I will take a life. Your turn. If he wants to keep attacking me, that'd be great. I don't really feel like attacking him till I'm close to trying to win the game. And I feel like he already has advantage. Because red has the ability to just completely kill you. Because they minus your guys, and then there he is. I think this is a minus 2,000. Yep. Yeah, not very feasible to win this. Alright. That's cool. Literally not going to stop any of this. If he wants to go for it with all of them, he can. Actually, for him, I'll stop. Even though I probably would have wanted that one drop, it's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, you know, it'd be really good right now. Rick who? <laughs> Raccoon would be very nice to have. Uh, am I going to live long enough to actually use that Frieza is another question. I think the answer is no. Mm. I think I'm going to go... Damn, I really wish I'd actually kept that one drop now that I think about it. Um, could go Ginyu. Try and see if I can find maybe Jace or something. Let's see. Uh, there's Raikoum. Means I could potentially start going off next turn. Alright. But not this turn. Okay. <sighs> it's a real shame I did not get any good drop to go with them. It's like... 
Uh, I think I'll go here. Okay. Now, attack here. It's not bad. Sure. Do I want to try killing this guy? Sure. Ooh, okay. See if he'll waste a card in hand. He will. Okay. Let's go for it again. I'll get rid of one of these. Keep the cards I want to potentially use on the back burner. He's gonna keep it. Alright. Fine with me. Both of these dudes are dead then. Let's see what he does now. If he plays Frost, then this is just an unwinnable situation, but again, he hasn't done it yet. He's uh, losing a lot of card advantage on this. Alright. GG. Later. Should have just played that guy from the beginning. Next game. <laughs> Literally, the first thing I said is that cannot be Frost. It just is not worth even trying. I would have. There's no point. I am. I'm done. Next game. Hopefully, fight against the Gohan. <laughs> I would much rather fight Gohan because his deck is built to try and stop Gohan, but is not built to stop a red deck at all. The reason is that you saw right there is that it doesn't matter what I play. They just minus two thousand whatever I play, and then I just lose. There's like literally every single card of theirs is the perfect out, and you have to trade so much advantage that it's just not worth even trying to fight. Um, the only times I've ever been able to win is that I drew Ray two Raycombs in hand and two Ginyus, and I was just able to blitz the opponent and win before then. But once they have uh, Frost out, it's just over. Is no one playing this game? Goddamn, release it on mobile already. I have more than like seven people playing at any given time. Oh, uh, goddamn, I was just many people playing. What are you playing? 85% win rate, that tells me probably go on. If I had to guess. Oh man, it's, the, it's my evil version. That means that they have to be running future chunks, okay. I'll see, actually, this should be a bad matchup for him, because I don't care if he returns every card to my hand. That actually sounds great. I'll keep. I think I'll do a wave of Goldo. All right, let's see what kind of opponent we're fighting. I end my turn. Strong, strong plays here. Uh, let's see. Probably go ten would be the thing I would assume to play first. Go ten or like that baby. Oh, he has an extra energy. So either he doesn't need this right now. There's the trunks. If he wants to smash into this, that'd be perfectly fine with me. Really? That's bizarre, but okay. Yeah, that's very weird. But you know what? You do you, my guy. Uh, not gonna be able to play that. Put down this Frieza. Get rid of that Trunks. Draw a card. There's zero reason to keep this Trunks alive. <laughs> there you go. I was like, okay, come on, guy. Don't, don't, don't pretend with me. <laughs> So that's the thing that I like about this matchup is that a lot of Trunks does is return cards to hand. And that's great because a lot of my cards just have ETB triggers. So as soon as they enter the battlefield or they get their effect back. So that would be basically like giving me more advantage than I would want. 
Um, that includes my Ginyu Force. If he wants to return Ginyu to hand so I have an additional free 2 mana to play with, or to free 2 mana, free 2 energy to play with, that would also be great. Um, the only thing that sucks is the, the Vegeta that specifically puts it underneath the deck. Yeah, that's cool. Yep, we all good, my guy. Zarbon? Hello. I guess the question is now, is he gonna play, is he gonna play a dude? I can actually probably actually do a Ginyu Force Blitz on my turn. He's gonna play Pilaf. Yep, get back Trunks. He has eight cards now, but he can still play two more cards, or one more card, depending on how he wants to do this. The Trunks will give him an extra card in hand. The only thing I have to worry about is if they have seven or fewer, that's when they get a lot of their effects. So you like this, uh, like this peel off here. So he's back at eight. Okay. I feel like I want to keep that potentially around. Let's see. Was there a reason to go kind of go popping off right now? There really isn't. Mm, other than it'll make me feel good. Mm, okay. Sure. Light. Attack. Give you a life, sir. Get that. Go heal. Hope that's cool. It is cool. Go here. Attack this trunks. Get Ginyu Frog. Love to see it. I can probably wait to play Ginyu Frog for the time being. And actually just play Sorbet. Because now I kind of want to hold off on Ginyu Frog until I'm ready to pop off, I think. You know be really good right now? Uh... <laughs> my guy, Rekum. But... This is the problem with running three Raycoom instead of four, is that I can't, the, you know, it'd be really great, Raycoom. You know who's not currently here? Raycoom. No way, are you gonna actually play a card? You're gonna have to play another one. Okay. That's, uh, I guess to get rid of cards in hand, maybe? But I'll, I'll keep the, I'll keep this freeze alive. It'll keep taking off my life. Then I get to rest one of your characters. It's a great deal for me. <gasps> it's a great looking my alt. Two cards too. That's crazy. That means the next attack he's gonna be able to uh, basically pop off. I mean, he's got three energy. I don't know what he's waiting for. Trunks. Hello, Trunks. I mean, he doesn't have. He doesn't have seven or less though, unless he's gonna just bump, dump his hands right here just to get rid of this Frieza. You really just gonna do all that to get rid of Frieza? <laughs> you're gonna have to get rid of so many cards. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to get rid of more, my guy. More. More! One more. One more. One more. Come on, one more. Yeah, one more. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Like I said, uh, the the trunks is a little bit hard to play because you kind of want to be under seven cards. So now he can use this effect and he can return a three cost to the hand. If you want to give me back my Frieza or my Sorbet, I would love that. Get two more. Go oh, oh my god, get two more. Come on. Get two more. That'd be hilarious. I mean, he does get to draw a card from Double Mine now, actually, though, now that I realize it. He does get to draw two cards. Which is not bad. Okay. So. Um. I might actually make it to Gold of Frieza this turn. Um. I will, I think, probably play Goldo, maybe? Goldo Ginyu? 
I don't have a current way to remove cards from the top of my life, which is very annoying. So let me play Ginyu. See if I can draw something. And draw bonds of the Ginyu for. I mean, those those were some terrible draws coming up ahead, so I'm okay with it. All right. I can't play that Ginyu, I forgot. Uh, I kind of want to play this Frieza and then go for this Mai. So I am. I mean, he has plenty of cards to get rid of, to be honest. Next, Ginyu. Ginyu getting up in the mix. He says, no, this is where you die. Okay. Would you like to save this Trunks? Because I, I have a feeling the answer is yes. But we'll see. If he wants to get rid of cards from hand, that's also perfectly fine with me. I'm playing exactly into what he wants, though. Pilaf could have gotten back a Pilaf, just saying. Uh, go here. Okay. Sounds great. Go ahead, your turn. He still has the other Mai, though, which is going to be very problemsome. But it's okay, because if he wants to return any of these cards back to my hand, that'd be great. But he is also going to be able to recycle the Mai, because he can also just return Pilaf back to hand. <laughs> so this might actually not be the greatest for me. Sure. Goodbye, Gildo. More mine? He had another mine hand. No way he chooses to actually use this effect. That'd be hilarious. But yeah, no, no way. Yeah, that's the one thing is that these guys really like to recycle absolutely everything. Ooh, if Goten attacks, that'd be great. So currently, this is a plus 2000 to keep in mind. He's gonna have to get rid of cards in hand, or he's gonna return one of these cards back to hand. If it's actually Ginyu, that's a little bit of a problem. In which case, I'll probably have to just use Chile. Alright, that's cool. That means I can search deeper for your Birder, though. Not Birder, um. Rekum. Yep, gets to draw two from this. It's pretty crazy. Okay. Um, there's literally no reason for me not to just use this. Um, but it's kind of annoying because it does. It's fine. I just can never let this guy die. <laughs> I'm I'm now committed to keeping this Ginyu alive in order to do my loop. Really? That's crazy that you would return him to hand. But you know what? I respect it. Most people wouldn't. But you know what? It's bold innovation like this that makes this game fun. You can attack with one of the mice and kill kill off Sorbet. I actually think that would be the perfect thing to do at the moment. Look at the bottom cards of your deck and play up to one true with a cost two or four remaining from the bottom of your deck. Okay. I'll get rid of that. Okay. Let's see here. I have to search deeper for Raccoon. There he is. There was unfortunately two at the top. Okay. Raccoon! Add a life to hand. Ooh. 
That's good. Okay, switch to the active. My cat's meowing in the back because he can sense the gaming is currently afoot. And I'll play my guy here. And I think it's time to go crazy. Oh, that's good for the next follow-up. Uh, I'm going to use this knowing full well that he, I probably actually screwed up here a little bit. But there's no way for him to block this now. There's no even point in trying. <laughs> okay, cool. Jice. Yep, perfectly okay. Next. The next attack. Ooh, three cards in hand. Okay. And now we switch it up and go for this Goten. <laughs> After he thinks that we were going for his life? Nope. He's gonna protect the Goten. This guy's crazy. I respect it. He's invested so heavy into this Goten. Damn, that's crazy. Uh... You know what? Two cards in hand. Let's go. I want to see where this guy's going. I'm, I'm honestly kind of flabbergasted that he went that far to protect his stuff. <laughs> and he didn't play at energy. So he has to have something crazy. I would suggest not returning Raycomb to hand. If I was going to give you one piece of advice, that's also okay. He does draw, you have to draw two cards from these, because they're crazy. Uh, combo. Would you like to use some more of your cards, sir? Sure, which one would you like to return? Oh, please, give me one of them. Yo, yes. Oh, baby. Let's go. Uh, yeah, that's cool. I mean, I assume you have to have a drop in your hand right now. If not, this has all been very silly. <laughs> I don't know why you did all this <laughs> if you do not have a drop in your head. Ooh, that powers up Trunks, but he's already attacked, didn't he? Alright. If you want to confirm the kill, but I think you already attacked my guy. Yeah, you sure did. Um. Do I really need two Ginyus in hand? I don't. Okay. Okay, let's see. I think I'll start by playing... Okay, I need to remember I have... Okay. Play that. Then. Let's see. Two. Two minus five. That's still three. Okay. Let's go searching for a Ginyu Force card, huh? Gillo. I sure will add a single life to my hand. And then it's Ginyu Force time. Switch to active. And remember what I said? Oh yeah. Body change now! Okay, so now here's the fun part. Where I get to use this move to draw a card. See if there's anything. Ooh, there is. Mm, let me see. What I prefer. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. I currently have five. So. Uh, I think we'll start with. Yeah, we're just going to go for game. He's got plenty of cards on the field. So 
See, which two when I discard, though? Much as it pains me, maybe Goldo and... I really don't think there's anything left for me to search in my deck. Other than Raccoons, actually, so, yeah. Probably go here. Okay, cool. He's gonna draw the card. I also forgot that I could attack. I think he may have given up. I think he may have. I think it might be. He might have seen. Nope. He's gonna go out fighting. Massive respect. Well, now I know for sure which one of these I'm gonna get rid of. Probably the derp double murder. <laughs> if I had any inclination of what to give up here. Bold. Okay. Okay. Attack. He probably does isn't aware of what Ginyu can do. And as such... He's about to get a very rude awakening when I activate this. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. That is a GG, my guy. Everyone comes back! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Let's go! Ginyu for game! I don't even care anymore. I don't think this does anything. But I'm gonna make him waste everything because I realize this game is over. Let's just cut it. Let's cut the bullshit. Use everything or just lose. Yeah, you're gonna need more. You're gonna need so much more. <laughs> and you just don't have it. And he realizes that he gives up. And that's the power of the Ginyu Force. Yeah, that that's funny that it was literally two back-to-back matchups where it's like oh yeah this is a terrible matchup and then we went against someone who literally returned my ginyu force dudes back to hand and they just made terrible times it's another very bad matchup for that deck because typically when you return a two it can be pretty devastating but it turns out when all your twos are really good and they all have effects that when they enter the field not so much anymore but anyway even though i did make that misplay that's the end of the video because, God, I forgot how long these videos can go from only a single match or two. That is the Ginyu Force. Uh, I really like this deck. I hope that the next set maybe introduces a more, um, mm, like a 2500 attacker Ginyu Forcer would be really nice, actually. <laughs> or maybe a, a, Jace, a Jason uh, Ginyu card that can maybe buff up your cards by just 5,000 attack. I think that would end up being too good. But funny enough, even though as I showed here, the deck has some obvious, obvious super heavy flaws. To the point where it's actually better to um, just use the Ginyu Force cards. Like this Ginyu Force style like cards like these. Because this isn't just um, beholden to the Ginyu Force. It says specifically... You need free of uh, uh, Frieza's army, so you can just have, for example, the single Sorbet, and then you play the Raccoon, and then you play the Ginyu, and then you get back to energy, and then you have a little bit more wiggle room, because um, this Frieza is a little bit more about control, and I think in that case you can focus a little bit more on that. And this Frieza can actually take advantage of this Frieza. Like I said, he, for the most part, it's pretty dead in your hand. Because uh, there's zero way for Ginyu to actually return this card once it has been uh, used once. Because this full final pre freeze actually has the effect that says, Cannot be switched to active mode during your charge phase. So that just means you have one attack with it and that's it. And that kind of sucks. <laughs> but it is what it is. That's the end of the video everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Whatever it may be. Um, Till next time. Goodbye.